I started to enter the calories and non-fat calories into these columns. I just need to finish off, so I'm going back to the McDonald's website and finding those large fries. So if I click on snacks and size, this will speed it up for me. Click on the item I want, click on nutrition, and then I should get a breakdown of the calories and calories from fat. Now I'm going to choose the large fries. So I need the information 500 and 220 from fat. 500 and 220 calories from fat. Now the non-fat calories for each of these items is going to be the total calories. Take away the fat calories, giving me what's left. Always start with an equal sign. So B2 in this case, take away the fat calories, gives me what's left. I can replicate this formula down and it will save me typing it again. Percentage of fat is, well, let's make it a fraction, fat calories over total calories. C2 divided by B2. Okay, I've already changed the number format here. Format number, if it comes out as 0.48, a decimal fraction, then you can change it to percentage here or to round it up to the nearest percentage, use this shortcut accounting button here. That would do fine. Shows me the percentage, and again, if I replicate that down, I get percentage of fat for each item in my menu. Now the total would be relevant for total calories in my meal. Let's use the auto sum function here. Sum of this range, B2 to B4, enter. And again, the total of fat calories and the total non-fat calories. Total percentage wouldn't really make any sense here, so we can leave that blank. Now, I'm going to draw a chart comparing total calories in each item with the calories from fat. And I'm going to compare that in a clustered column chart. So, let me select the information. Now, the computer will work out here because I've selected all this in A, B and C, starting in A1. It will know that the calories and fat calories are going to be the columns and for each item here, each row will be a separate item. Let's try that. Charts, column, clustered column and it draws it. Calories, so for the Big Mac I can see 540 calories there. Calories from fat, 260, about half as much there. And for each item, it's almost about half as much. And the Big Mac is the most calorific item. Also contains the most fat I can read from this graph. Now, of course, all graphs should have a title. Let's put a chart a title in. I go to chart layout, title, uh, title above chart, uh, calories... Versus fat calories, you can probably think of a better name than that. Uh, and of course, label the axes for this chart. Easily done here, the horizontal axis. Let's have the title below. This is the food items, isn't it? Food items along the horizontal axis and on the vertical axis. Uh, let's label the axis uh, rotated title. So I will working upwards. Uh, if I triple click and select it all, and that is calories. Okay, that bar chart makes sense to me. Now, I want a pie chart next of the fat calories versus non-fat calories for one item. And I'm going to compare them in a pie chart. So I'm going to select the labels, and I'm going to select the values for the Big Mac. And I'm going to go charts, pie charts. Uh, to make it easy to read, I'm going to use an exploded pie. There you go. Again, let's just put this down here. Make some room. What I need for this is a uh, title. This is uh, Big Mac. And I'm comparing fat calories non-fat calories. Okay, if 
I'll make the column number and chart wider. It all fits on. Now for the last chart I'm going to draw, let me go back to the information. I want the total for this meal compared. I'm going to hold command down now to select the titles as I select my chart. And I'm going to bring this down so there's some room. I'm going to put it on a new page, in fact. And for this information, let's try something different. Let's put a title, chart title, title above chart. So this is a total meal. That calories and non fat. And let's instead let's take away this legend and put the data into the chart. So I'm going to take away the legend from chart layout, no legend, but instead I'm going to put it into uh, data labels, category name, and percentage into the chart. There we go.